Hello everyone. It's been long since I have spoken to you, uh, but this is a very special year and a very special occasion. Uh, it's been 10 years uh, since we first held the India Inclusion Summit on December 3rd in 2012. Uh, and so December of this year, we'll be finishing 10 years of the inclusion movement. Uh, and so I wanted to share some news with you. Uh, first and foremost, I hope all of you are healthy and safe uh, and doing well. Uh, as you know, every November we come together in person uh, to celebrate uh, the spirit of inclusion. Uh, and we've thought long and uh, hard about it and we realized that uh, we would rather postpone uh, the India Inclusion Summit this year to next year because we really wanted to meet all of you in person. Uh, we realized that in a digital world, um, uh, we will not have the same experience as we always did. So first and foremost, this year's India Inclusion Summit is moved to next year and I hope that we can have a big 10 year celebration next year in person. Having said that, the inclusion movement itself has only become stronger uh, and we've done a lot more activities than ever before. More importantly, we decided to focus entirely uh, our efforts entirely on supporting people with disabilities who've been affected uh, by uh, COVID. And so we identified 67 people uh, who have either lost their caregivers or have lost their uh, jobs. And so we've been supporting them with financial uh, incentives uh, for at least six months. Uh, and we also have a group of volunteers who've uh, reached out to these beneficiaries and supporting them in their day-to-day -day activities. So this is called Project Corona, and I'm grateful for all the people who are supporting this. Many of you would have already seen uh, our photo campaign uh, through everyoneisgoodatsomething.com. Uh, this was started in April 2nd uh, this year, and we have now carried inspiring stories of many unsung heroes uh, for more than 25 weeks. Uh, there has been a great team of volunteers who have come together to make this happen. The idea of uh, everyone is good at something was to showcase stories of people with disabilities throughout the year. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to it, I would be grateful if you can go to the website and subscribe to everyone is good at something. Uh, one of our key insights was to make these stories available in regional languages. And I'm happy to share that uh, we have now made the portal available in three regional languages, uh, Hindi, Bengali, and Tamil. Uh, we will soon be launching the Malayalam and Kannada version in the coming weeks. Uh, so please read and share these stories uh, in your network. And last but not the least, we have always believed that the fellowship is really a core pillar of the inclusion movement. Uh, and we have two of them. One is the Art for Inclusion Fellowship and the other is the Inclusion Fellowship where we support entrepreneurs who are working in the disability space. Both these fellowships we will open in the next few weeks and uh, we'll go through the selection process and start the fellowship on February 1st, 2022. Uh, we plan to do this virtually for the first four months and then uh, meet these Inclusion Fellows in person for IS 2022. So these are the activities that we have been um, very keenly uh, building up. Uh, as I said, um, it's, um, it's a, it's, in, in some ways we are sad that we couldn't meet all of you uh, in November uh, this year because it seems like an annual pilgrimage for many of us to be at the Inclusion Summit. But we also feel that uh, there can be no substitute to coming together. So I look forward to seeing you all in person next year. Until then, stay safe uh, and have fun and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Thank you and goodbye.